Okay, Mr. Casillo. The sights. I guess we're ready to go. And the sounds of a day on the course. Let the arms do the work. John and Garrett. Nice hit. Are making their weekly rounds. He's my best buddy. Gary is 75 and shooting for the 80s. And John? 90 years old. I born in 1932. He's 90. Good shot. And will gladly take a 100. You know, there's younger guys. They're hitting it worse than me. And if you think golf is the hardest game to get a feel for. All right, let's go see what we can do. John Casolo has no choice. OK, get you lined up. Because for John, the game looks like this. I lost my right eye when I was a year and a half old. I tried to take a pot of hot cereal off the stove. And then uh, in 1968, this eye started giving me trouble, started hemorrhaging, and, and then uh, 1984, the retina let go. At Sleeping Giant Country Club in Hamden. Nice shot. John, right, Gary, Come on, Grant. Come on, Grant. and guide dog Grant makes three, taking the tees. We play nine holes a week at least. Some weeks we get to get, get to play 18. Literally linked on the links. Step up. They've been playing together for the past seven years. Bump and run and hit the pin and make it go in. Okay. It's part of a program through Gaylord Hospital Sports Association. There you go. He made it. I'm his eyes for the day, 10 feet right to left. You have to pay attention to what he's doing, how he's swinging, and make sure his left arm comes through and then let his arms come down and follow through. Didn't get it up in the air. It didn't go in the air, but guess what? What? It was a good ball. Oh, when I when I hit a good shot, that's that's beautiful. I can tell, you know, I can tell by the sound. I can tell by the feel. That's really nice when I hit a good shot. John sold motorcycles for a living. He had a good shot, it was right down the middle. Not one to slow down, the Oakville native is an active member of the U.S. Blind Golf Association. Pull the left. Nope, went straight. He still travels the country taking aim in tournaments. We play very high-end courses. Uh, we play Orlando, Florida. We play San Antonio. We played Minnesota three, the last three years in a row. We're about thinking possible. So no matter what your age or your ability, we want to help you get out there and live your life. Thank you. There we go. John has an amazing zest for life and just an awesome positive outlook, no matter what is going on. For John, a grandfather and great-grandfather, the hits and the misses keep coming. Sure. Well, you're a lot closer there than you were before. No matter, he lives by this mantra. You don't have to see it to tee it. Perhaps a journey like John's is epitomized by what legendary champion Bobby Jones once said. Perfect. Golf is the closest game to the game we call life. You get bad breaks from good shots, you get good breaks from bad shots, but you have to play the ball as it lies. I tell you what, if, you know, you think you got something wrong, and if I come out with him, my day is lifted like you wouldn't believe, and I feel, I feel great at the end of the day, I really do. And for the 90-year-old blind golfer. Okay, come on, Johnny boy. The swing stays tight. The days stay bright. Yes! All right. He made it. He made it, folks. He loves life. Loves life. He brings out the goodness in everybody. You're going to keep playing, huh? Uh, absolutely, till the day I die. In fact, they'll probably bury me on a 17th green. Part four, long part four. If that old son of a gun can do it, we can do it. In Hamden. That wasn't up in the air, though, right? No, it was fine. Oh, good. Jim Altman, Fox 61 News. Just what the doctor ordered.